Hey, this is Seth with InDemandCareer.com. I show people how to get jobs in digital marketing with no previous experience or education. And in this video, I want to talk to you about how to deal with and transcend and actually dissipate your fear. And I shot a version of this video, I'm redoing it because I want to talk about my own experience. So it's, it's a little more just direct from me. Um, you know, you might look at me and Matt and Gary V and all of these big, you know, not, I'm not, <laughs> I have a much smaller channel than those guys, but you might see somebody on YouTube or on the TV and you might think that these people have all their shit together all the time. And we just, the truth is we just do not. Um, we all experience challenges and fears and emotions and stuff. And I wanted to share something with you, which is that when I started entrepreneurship a few years ago, when I decided I wasn't going to ever work a day job again. I would wake up every morning with fear. I would just feel this fear. And even now, I still, and a lot of that has to do with what's happening in the world and family and all these other things, but I will wake up feeling fearful feelings. The only difference between me and someone else is that I've done enough meditation and in, inner work where when I wake up and I feel these emotions, I can separate myself and I can see my mind or the emotion for what it is, an emotion, and not get completely consumed by it. But most of us, and this still happens to me from time to time, you know, I'm here in Thailand, I had some issues with my visa. There were times where I was like really scared because I, you know, airports are shutting down and there was a point where actually I didn't, um, I had this one day where <laughs> I had to, I had to get, I renew my visa before they had put all these protocols in place to extend tourist visas. And I literally flew to Laos and back in the same day to extend my visa. And I, when I came back in, they almost didn't let me back into Thailand because they said, you just went for one day. What were you, what were you doing? And I was, I just scared. I was scared. <laughs> I kept my cool. I stayed positive and they let me in. But there's things happen all the time in the world where you feel fear. Everybody feels fear. Everybody. Unless you're completely numb, which some people are, or you numb yourself. But the way to deal with it, as we're all dealing with it, is to confront the fear. Confront. And com the word confront, I, a mentor of mine blew my mind when he said this. Confront, we, 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 we assume that has a connotation of like fighting or antagonism. He confronted me. That's not what it is. The word confront literally just means to turn to the front. Literally, turn to the front. Face something. But as human beings, we're so, so repelled by just dealing with things straightforwardly that it has this negative connotation about like fighting. So to face your fear is the same thing. Facing your fear just means you are not running from it. You're literally sitting with your fear. You're facing it. Just like I'm facing you in this video, just like you'd face your friend when you're having dinner, you face the fear. And 99% of us just don't do that. We run from the fear. People drink, you know, get drunk, do drugs distract themselves just not to feel these negative feelings. Um, I had an experience recently where during, as this pandemic was starting, I was traveling, I was with my girlfriend, we were flying. There were just all sorts of things going on in my personal life where I was feeling a lot of fear. She was feeling fear. Um, and it, it became very visceral. I mean, it was like where you have like a real pit. And like It feels like your stomach has dropped out because you're so afraid on top of taking an airplane, um, which I found if you're already stressed out, you take a plane ride. It's, it's, for me, it's never really that good. But in this situation, it was more than usual. And what I did with my girlfriend is, listen, you're going to do what Eckhart Tolle uh, in Power of Now talks about the pain body. We're going to sit with this fear for five or ten minutes. And that's what we did. Literally. Didn't, you know, didn't watch Netflix, didn't check my email. Just sat in the feeling of being afraid. It's that simple. And just allow that shitty, <clears throat> fearful nasty, uncomfortable feeling to just soak you in and be okay with it. Say, listen, <clears throat> fear, I want to feel you. I'm not going to run from you. And we did that. And by the end, by the five, after five or ten minutes, it just, it just kind of just fades away. Fades away. And you can do that too. Everyone can do that. Depending on how much fear you're living with, depending on how many layers there are, you know, it, it may come back. But this is the practice. This is what you need to be doing. I still have to do this. And I wake up in the morning sometimes 
there's whatever. Uh, you're a human being, you're going to feel some fearful feelings. To wake up and I go meditate or I exercise, but I basically spend the time to observe the emotion. And if I ever don't face the fear and I turn from it and like run off into, into distraction, I usually pay a little bit later um, because it doesn't go away doesn't go away. So that's my take on fear. Literally, you can face your fear without it having to be something dramatic like a fear of heights or a fear of the dark. Or You, know, you could do that too. I did that when I was younger. I had fears. And when I went to, um, when I lived in the woods in California, I'll tell you this story, I, I lived alone. This is a good story. I think I'll save this for another video. <laughs> um, but uh, that's, that's kind of my, my point with, with the fear. It's very easy to get tricked by your mind when you have a fear into trying to solve the problem that you believe is causing the fear. So like, if you have a financial problem, I'm not saying that you don't deal with it, but you're going to have more productive results if you actually get into the fear first. If you're afraid of not having enough money, not being able to pay the bills. And by the way, guys, I have met multimillionaires who still have those fears. It's, it's all in the head. I met people who have literally more than $50 million in the bank who are still experiencing fears about money. <laughs> because it is not rational. But it's very easy to get caught up in trying to analyze the source of the problem and fix it without dealing with the underlying emotion. And the problem is, like Einstein says, he says, you can't use the same thinking to solve a problem that created it. I, I think that's applicable because the thing is, like, if you're in a situation where you're afraid, you need a different kind of thinking to get out of that situation. So dissolving the emotion should be the first thing. And when, you, when you're thinking, also then you're going to think clearer and you'll make better decisions. It's that simple. It's nothing really mysterious if you're skeptical about like emotions and spirituality and stuff. You know, it's literally accept the feeling just by accepting it or facing it in a way the power, its power goes away. You know, that's... Thing I discovered in my life as I faced more and more of my fears is that the shit I was afraid of. I mean, it, this even happened here on Costa Mui. This is such a stupid example, but it's so great. It's a great little harmless, insignificant, non-serious example. We, uh, I bought these electronic bikes for my girlfriend and I. And Thailand is like, it's a different place to drive than the U.S. Obviously, you drive on the left side of the road, and the island we're on is known for having like kind of crazy traffic. Um, and so I was very, very scared of driving in the traffic, um, pretty irrationally. But it was, it was based on some facts, which is the fact that it's, that, you mean people know there's, it's a little more dangerous here than it is in the U.S. But anywhere I drive, I always just stay present, and I've had very good, very good you know, success rate in 20 years of driving. Um, but what I remember is the, the first few times I went to go on the road, I was just, oh my God, I was fucking scared. I was really timid about turning into the traffic on my bike. Also because they drive on the left side of the road and I've spent 20 years driving on the other side of the road. And for the first few times, I remember, I was just like, I was fucking afraid. <laughs> and I was like pissed at myself. I said, dude, you're, I'm a 42 year old man. I've been driving for 20 years. I know that everything's okay. But I still was feeling this like fear feeling. So I had to do this. I had to be with the feeling. Okay, I'm feeling fear. It's okay. Go. And the crazy thing is, and you've had experiences like this in your life with other things, you do it a few times, and by the time I've been, I did it for like two, three, four days, now it's like, psh, no problem. No problem. It's a completely different experience. Even flying down this one big hill, the first five times I was really scared. Now it's like really easy and it's fun. That's everything. Every, every one of us as children, we had this experience with something you were afraid of, you did it, and now you love it. So whatever you're experiencing now, this is, doesn't seem fun. You know, hey, I'm dealing with a pandemic. Hey, I'm dealing with 
money issues. But the more that you actually accept the fear and don't run from it, the easier it gets. It took, I'm gonna do another video about this, but it took me like literally three years to be comfortable as an entrepreneur, as my only source of income. Because I was so scared the first few times because I've been trained and brainwashed by my culture and by everything to say, you need a day job. <laughs> Even when I'm making money, the fear was still there. But it's like anything. And it's the same thing with you guys, whether you're looking for your first freelance clients or your first jobs. The first few times, you're gonna feel some fear. And then as you get better and better, you'll be like my other students, it'll just be like riding a bike. Boom, boom, you'll be on it. But you just, you gotta go through the first, un the discomfort. Welcome the discomfort. Welcome the fact that you are facing this thing. Just be proud of yourself that you're facing it. You're not turning away, you're facing it. No matter what happens, even if you feel terrible, even if after you do the exercise, you feel worse, that's okay too. It's just part of the process and just keep at it. And eventually you will get stronger and be able to release these feelings. So I hope that is helpful in some way. I have been on a little inspirational kick here. I made a few videos. Um, I'm going to try to make more videos more frequently. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Any questions? And I will see you guys soon.